Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here with 2023 Topps Composite Football Breakers Delight Edition. Pick your team number 11. Now, if you keep track of this sort of stuff, you you, you think, wait, Breakers Delight, those are 10 box cases, aren't they, Joe? And I'll be like, yeah, they are. And then you'll be like, well, since we're on break 11, does that mean it's a fresh case? Yes, it is a fresh case. What? No, I know he was sick, yeah. Oh, no. How old is he? Dude, he looks so sick. Like, you had to know something was wrong, like, big time. He, like, lost, like, a lot of weight. Yeah, he really did lose. Like, he was 63. That's not that old. Fernando Valenzuela just passed away. Old Dodger legend. In fact, he pitched against the last time the Dodgers faced the Yankees in the World Series was 1981. I think Fernando pitched that game. Pitched like a, one of the games had an incredible postseason. Wow. Yeah, for Valenzuela in Game 3, despite giving up 9 hits, 2 homers, walking 7 and throwing 149 pitches and facing 40 batters, went the distance to give the Dodgers the first win of the series. Yeah, yeah that is very sad. Fernando Mani was huge. Gone too soon yet. Yeah, MLB's on Twitter is is reporting it. Dodgers beat reporter Bill Shagan's reporting it. Dodgers are reporting it. This is all within the last two to five minutes. Sad times. Well, this grade was only 63, Rex. I did not expect this, this grade to go this soon, but we, we did hear that he was in the hospital not too long ago, and I feel like... I feel like... I guess it was a lot more serious than I thought. Because he said he wasn't going to do postseason duties. He does, he does Spanish language radio for the Dodgers. He does Spanish language radio for the Dodgers. And, um, and he said, I, don't, I think he said he wasn't doing the postseason. Which is, I thought was a little interesting. And then the, there was talk about him going to the hospital. And so, yeah, I guess, I guess there's some health issues lurking. Sad. Empty box. All right, now let's select a single box out of here, folks. We got one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's three. And now we'll go from top to bottom. One, two, three, four, five. If I roll a six, I'll just roll again. It's one top box. Next time, I'll, and for the subsequent box, I'll just grab a random box from, the, from this stack right here. I want to say they retired his number earlier this summer. So I guess that was fortuitous that they that they did that for Fernando Valenzuela. 60 out of 325, DeMarco Murray. It's for Dallas. It's for Ryan. Fred Bolitnikoff to 299. Any more breaks tonight? 
if you want there to be breaks tonight, there will be. We go, we stream until around 11 o'clock LA time, OG. So if you want to do some more breaks, that's up to you. If we get some filled within that time period, we can do it. 65 out of 175. In fact, that's a question I should ask everybody, everybody else. Any more breaks tonight? That's not a question for me. That's a question I, I should be asking you. If you want there to be more breaks, get some orders in. I only see one order coming into my email box. So unless that one order is sold out of break, we're going to need some help from the group. Stan Marino for Miami. That'll be for Matt. Here's Fred Bolitnikoff, 7 out of 12. Old School Raider for Ryan. And Flutie Flakes. Doug Flutie. All right, your hits. We got a one out of two, Danny White. There you go. Um, that will be uh, Ryan Store with Dallas. Ryan, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo. You're in Cali, and your friend told me about this channel. Nice, thank you, that friend. Sick of breaking with the East Coast. Yeah, they go to bed too early. For you. We stay up late. Later. 43 out of 50, Donnie Shell For the Steelers, that's going to be for Steve Locke. Yeah, we break from 3 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Maybe a little bit later if things are rocking. That's generally our time period. So whatever we can fill in between those times, we'll do it. And Dante Hall, Jersey and Auto. 92 out of 99. That was going to be for uh, Kaim and the Chiefs. Yeah, we're based in Southern California. In Hermosa Beach. If you ever end up in this area, you can visit our shop in Hermosa Beach. And there's what time is it? Game time. Ray Lewis. All right. So we got that done. Now let's flip back over here. If you follow the instructions, you got a chance to win a high-end hit parade box, a Jaspi hit parade exclusive collab. So let's gather everybody's names, one through 32. So we've bought at least an even number of teams. Kime bought two, one entry. David got two, that's an entry. Greg got three, two count for the promo, that's still an entry. Matt got two teams at an entry. Ryan got six teams. That's three entries. Steve Locke got a bunch of teams. He has the rest. He got 16 teams. That's eight entries, Steve. Good luck. All right, so let me just double check this here. Yeah, Steve was mentioning earlier my Lakers playing Steve's Timberwolves. All right, so Kime got one, David with one, Greg with one, Matt with one, Ryan with three, and then Steve has the rest. All right. All right, name on top after 11 gets that high-end hit parade box. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and once more, 11th and final time, and that's going to be Steve Locke. I think Steve is here. So, Steve, here are the box numbers you can choose from, if you feel like choosing. One, three, five, six, seven, nine, eleven, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 17, 19, 20. Or I, we can let random.org select. Although, there's a decent amount of game left. There's still a couple, 2.30 left in the third. 77-65 Lakers. Which, I don't know. I mean, one game, small sample size, but, but it's good to see the Lakers 
you know, looking like a more modern basketball team. They're shooting more threes. I don't know how effective they've been, but they're shooting more threes. They're crashing the boards a little bit more. They're not falling apart in the beginning of the third quarter like they used to. They're not down by double-digit points by the end of the first quarter like they used to. All right, Steve Lock. Maybe random.org might choose for you. Five and a six, 11 times. I just saw him in the chat earlier. Steve, paging Steve Lock. We got, I'll give it 30 more seconds. Maybe he, maybe he left the stream. Steve, oh, Steve says random it, okay. All right, it's official, randoming it. Five and a six, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleventh and final time. Box six. All right, so after 11 times, Box six. Good luck, Steve. Yeah, I did that right, right? Five and a six, 11 times. Box on top, box number on top is six. Good luck. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've not been keeping track of what we've pulled, so who knows what's out there. Might be some case hits still out there, some sell sheet hits. All right. Oh, we got a thick card here, super thick. I see two players on there. Dual Relic, Dual Auto, it's Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, four out of 10 from Eminence. Back in 2021. Nice low number as well, really solid. There you go, Steve. Weird start to the season for the Cowboys, but maybe maybe they'll maybe they'll turn it around. All right, there you go, gang. Congrats, Steve. Thanks everybody for watching. R.I.P. Fernando Valenzuela. It's, it's a it's a sad story. Um, I'm sure we'll get some more details throughout the week, and I'm sure they'll be talked about during the World Series. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.